Hi, everybody. You don't have to sit down if you don't want to. I don't think we have enough chairs anyway, so um, remain standing. Um, welcome uh, to Tucson. I had, I had to look at my notes. <laughs> I feel like a flight attendant. Um, so this is the pre-conference uh, reception for the cool people, for the, the organized people, uh, the people who want to get a head start on the conversations, and uh, also the people who, even if they got up at the break of dawn on Thursday, would never make it before 10 o'clock in the evening, and they'd miss the whole first day. Thank you very much, United Airlines. Um, I want to, we have a very few things to do. We're not, there's no organized programming here. We envisioned this event as a hello, go. Uh, sort of event. And so um, I want to introduce David uh, Gramling, who is the uh, local conference organizer, and he's going to thank a few people and give you a few logistical pieces of information, and then I have a couple of things to say. Um, but right now, please welcome David Gramling. You're, this is Tucson, so you, you are in the right uh, city in Arizona. We have three or four. Um, uh, thank you so much for being here. This is lovely to see such a wonderful crowd, and uh, we're looking forward to an absolutely exciting weekend. Um, i just like to let you know that we have a ground crew here of wonderful, smart um, translators and, and volunteers who have been really excited to receive you here in town. And you should talk to them and ask them everything that you want to know about where to get uh, good food, where to go out to go dancing, where to get really good beer, etc. So these are uh, th our wonderful volunteers. This is... Yeah. So uh, this is Patrick Ploschnitsky, Tara Taylor, uh, Judith Menzel. We also have Martina Schwamm. Where is Malti Martina Schwamm? I'm not sure if he's here. OK, she's at the Reg table. Uh, and let's see, we have Christine Lange, uh, Stephanie De La Cella, and uh, one more person. Uh, who, who, do we, who do we have? Lee Gagem, exactly. So all of these students are from uh, the German Studies Department, which is where I teach here at the University of Arizona, and they're uh, a, a wealth of knowledge about the city and about the university. If you uh, want to be taken to an, a nice place to, uh, you know, buy a souvenir or something like that, they'll just tap them on the shoulder, they'll, they'll take you somewhere. Um, so uh, I, I have the happy task of um, making sure that everybody gets to the off-site events, which are at a lovely, lovely place called Cafe Passe. So Cafe Passe is where uh, Cafe Latino is taking place, uh, Cafe Francais, and the long list readings, etc. So that place uh, is about 15 minutes away walking, um, and it's a beautiful uh, outdoor backyard kind of cafe environment. Uh, for the evening events, I would really encourage you to bring an extra layer as it does uh, occasionally get a little bit chilly here in Tucson, I must admit. Um, and uh, I think you'll find it to be a pretty magical space. For those of you who are reading, you should know that we do have a microphone, we do have a podium, so you'll be able to rest your, uh, your materials on that. Um, one other thing I should say is that there will be, for the, uh, for the Events on Thursday, so tomorrow uh, midday and Saturday midday, we will have a food spread out for those of you who arrive uh, on time. Um, there will be delicious, luscious German food to eat uh, for free. So, so come and, and, and have some of that. I, I have asked... I've asked the, uh, the proprietor of uh, Café Passé, who's a wonderful woman named Zabina, to have the food out for us tomorrow at 1235. So if you can uh, make it there around then, then uh, enjoy uh, the, the food. Otherwise, I also have um, menus for Café Passé in case you are interested in ordering ahead of time. Let's say you want a sandwich. Um, it would be great if people could order on, on their leaving the hotel so that when they get there, their food will be ready and you don't have to stand in line while, while somebody is reading. So that's my suggestion. Um, I think, uh, let's see, what else should I say? Th our, our wonderful volunteers tiers will also lead you there. So you'll meet out in the lobby. Somebody will be carrying a sign that says, we're going to Café Passé, follow me. 
Um, or they'll have another poster that says, we're going to the Poetry Center, which is on Friday, I think, Friday. Um, and so you'll be able to follow uh, our local colleagues. Um, they're your local ground crew. Please talk to them about anything that uh, comes across your radar. And we're so delighted to have you here. Um, please have a lovely, lovely weekend and a lovely conference. Welcome to Tucson. Thank you, David. I also, I forgot to write down my own name in my notes, so I didn't say who I am. Russell Valentino, I'm the president of Alta. Welcome. Um, thank you. As, thank you. So as I, as I mentioned, we envisioned this event as a, uh, a very informal greeting while you're doing your registration. The registration table is still open, by the way, so if you haven't registered, you can do that right now. And when you do that, you'll be able to look at this. You'll be able to take a look at this really wonderful program book that uh, is really a work of art. You'll see all the, the stuff that's inside. There's a lot of stuff in there, uh, which means we have a very full program. And we have um, Erica Mena put on her designer's hat to, to work on this. And well, open letter, but then the layout, sorry, layout, <laughs> open letters designer, Nate, what is Nate's last name? Pearl. Nate Pearl, Pearl did the, the concept, uh, and then Erica helped. helped. <laughs> yes, I have to get my facts straight. Um, I, I also, while I'm, I'm thanking people, I have a few other people to thank. Um, there's a long list of sponsors there in the program, but I want to... Uh, uh, mention a few in particular, and please hold your applause until I finish. There are just a few of them. The University of Arizona Poetry Center, uh, the Center for the Art of Translation, Amazon Crossing Phoneme Media, and many departments and offices at the University of Arizona have all contributed actual money uh, to this conference. So please thank them all. Um, finally, uh, I would be, we don't, we haven't done this in the past, but I'm going to do it this year. Um, I would be remiss if I did not remind everybody that ALTA is a nonprofit arts organization. You know what that means. It depends, <laughs> it depends, uh, without a, uh, I should say, without a sugar daddy or a sugar mama or a, a sugar gender neutral parent. Um, <laughs> Right? That means it depends on all of you. Um, and there, is a very, there are very easy ways to support us. One, you can become a member. If you're not a member, you can come to the conference. That's good. You've already done that. Uh, second, you can become a member. If you haven't become a member, it's a very easy process. You go to the website, literarytranslators.org, and it says member, <laughs> or it says donor, or it says, it says whatever it says. It says join, yes, it says join. And you click on that and then you, there, are, there are various categories that you can um, put yourself into in order to become a member. You don't even have to be a translator. This is new. <laughs> this is a new thing. Um, it didn't used to be possible, and thank you membership committee for making this happen. Uh, it didn't used to be possible. You can just be a friend of translation. You know like friends of public television? You can be a friend. <laughs> of translation, um, and some of you n have friends, <laughs> and you can ask them to become friends of translation because you know they support um, the mission. Um, and so, yeah, ask them. Uh, it's in order to make translation possible. That's what they're supporting. They're gonna be supporting making translation recognized, making it understood and appreciated today as much as uh, the core component of literature in English that it al always has been. If you support that and you think you know somebody who might support that, say, hey, be a friend of literary translation. Join Alta. Right? It's not hard. Have a great time. Uh, go out and enjoy the city. Uh, a lot of places to eat. Don't forget to register and um, enjoy yourselves. <laughs>